Tactics planes, first one being the large P-40. Just wanted to do a quick recap. Um, some things are pretty impressive, some things are somewhat confusing on it, but I'm going to go through this quickly. It's a pre-flight, I'm going to maiden this plane tomorrow. Uh, a couple changes that I made. Uh, LX has a great little hat system for the battery. Um, it's so good, it's so sealed, it's very difficult to get off. I added a simple little clear piece of tape on the inside so it, it uh, comes off perfectly. If you look inside the battery car compartment, it's very tight for a normal LiPo. I actually channeled that line out that allows the um, battery wire to fit flush when putting the battery in and then you have no issue whatsoever at all when you're um, when you're loading your battery. So again, simple little tape, as you can see here, fits very flush. They Alex did a nice job, I think, on the uh, on the hatch. It's it's really professional and allows venting. Um, as far as adding weight to the model, I'm going to flip this over. So I apologize for the uh, camera movement. As far as adding weight to the model itself, there is a, um, I added my weight in here, I added approximately half an ounce, um, and that was only needed because uh, I added two servos, four flaps, and obviously I've added my own flap modification. Plane probably doesn't need it, but there were reports of some squirreliness and landing at high speed, and I just thought I would tone it down a little bit. Now, the way I did my flaps, I had the option of simply cutting this line here, cutting it over here, and creating a two-part flap that'll still move with the wing. So I left the wing totally open and movable, as you can see from where my hinge lines are. So uh, if I choose to go back and make that mod, I'll do so. Right now, I just wanted a, a functional flap. Um, great room in here for all your receiver, for your receiver and all your server wires, things like that. Um, I mixed a simple little combination of black, white, and gray paint and matched the paint virtually perfectly and also went back over the seams here. Um, the stock factory setup covered the servos, stuff like that. So this plane is ready to maiden. Um, I balanced at 25% of MAC. I think the plans call between 60 and 70. 25% of MAC actually comes out to about 65. So that's the number I'm going to try flying it. Um, I've also put in about 30% expo. I reduced my airlines to half inch movement either way, elevator to three quarter inch movement. I'm going to start out really conservative and go from there because the plane is not that big. So that's the uh, that's my plan. The finish on the plane is actually fantastic. The EPO is super solid. Probably some of the best EPO I've had the pleasure of working with compared to. Um, some softer EPOs if there is such a thing. So the EPO is pretty durable. The cal itself, really nice finish. Screws are um, have plastic tube inserts, which is fantastic, because uh, that allows for the cal to be removed.